progression and progress and even think something that is progressive with a lowercase p is not a bad thing. It's the ideology of progressives with a capital P. Really is a big change because for the first time, church leaders can bless gay couples as gay couples. This is indeed progressiveness and it sent our conservative comrades into a tizzy no now it well i buzz a little bit and you know as as to be expected as to be expected when everything in your world is based on a dogmatic belief then something that comes in uh, uh, and in the face of that whether logically or rationally it has an issue you're gonna get uh, uh, mad about it obviously i don't think that each side doesn't know what the other thinks uh, isn't entire, uh, entirely accurate. Rather, I think what each side thinks the other thinks. Uh, it's like a caricature of what the other side thinks. Yeah, where the extreme positions are exaggerated. Definitely. And um, so we know that, you know, m more on uh, uh, right-leaning, uh, with among right-leaning people, that you don't have to be, you know, super religious. You don't have to be super transphobic. You don't have to, uh, uh, you know, be a gun nut and whatever. But that is the picture that, uh, uh, that, that leftists have. And unfortunately... Unfortunately, it's people like the Daily Wire who are feeding into that. So this is uh, uh, um, Noel's response to uh, the gays being allowed to be gay, which, again, guys, I mean, it doesn't matter what you believe. Can we just, like, not have an issue with consenting adults doing what they want to do? Progressiveness. And it sent our conservative Wait, comrades hey. into a tizzy. No, not quite. To begin, though, let's see how mainstream news sites are reporting this. In a landmark ruling announced by the Vatican on Monday, Pope Francis formally authorized Catholic priests to bless same-sex couples. The radical shift was described as a major step forward by Father James Martin, a Jesuit priest who ministers to the LGBT community. It's really the first time uh, that there's been any sort of opening to blessing same-sex couples, so it's a big deal. Well, let's raise a glass for James Martin and his ilk. Huh? James is like that lone voice in the choir singing a different tune. So I just put up a poll, guys. I think uh, non-members can hit it as well, but either way, uh, let me know what do you think. The question, should gays be allowed to be called couples? Seems to me like something not very controversial and not anything to get up in a tizzy, but... But soon, he'll be leading the chorus, give it maybe a generation or two. The church, for all its insistence on objective, universal moral values, is ethically bipolar. You know, just like how being pro-slavery was totally based until just a few hundred years ago, but then mm -hmm. woke Christians dispensed with the solid receipts of Augustine to soothe their feelies. Yeah, and and you know we see this all around. Whether it's slavery, whether it's the helio, uh, the uh, the the uh, Earth being the center of the universe, or any any of these things, it takes the people who are progressive to correct the things of the past. So pro progression and progress, and even think something that is progressive with a lowercase p is not a bad thing. It's the ideology of progressives with a capital P. That is an issue. Of course, progress is a good thing. Shout out to Stephanie Miller. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the party. Said, of course they're mad. Most Catholics are mad and do not like or respect this Pope. The world has to. Uh, the world has uh, the right to be as progressive as they want. But uh, what the Pope doing is going against their beliefs. And I, I completely understand. I, I, I have no. Uh, uh, I, I understand this. But. Again, when we are talking about sending a, a, a message, a political message for other people and saying, hey, I have the right opinion. This is what you guys should think. If, even if it is the worst pope in your lifetime, then when you get triggered over it, over something that most of us here are, don't have an issue with the, the actual notion that gay people can be in couples, then you're leaving open a, a, a room for leftists to be like, hey, I'm right about this. And they are. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that clip, check out the full live stream link in the bio and catch me live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. See you there.